Hey everybody, Jeremy here. So today I'm gonna to be taking a look at this budget Android tablet from On. This is the On Tablet Gen 3, and this is the 2022 model. Now, if you're not familiar with this brand, On, this is a private label brand that's sold exclusively at Walmart, and they make a variety of different electronics such as tablets, they do televisions, speakers, headphones, streaming boxes, you know, things like that, as well as some accessories. And this particular tablet is designed Design for those who are on a budget and it has Android 11 Go as the software which is a special type of software designed to run on devices that have less than two gigabytes of RAM. At the time of this video, this tablet sells for $49.99. So I'm going to be checking this out and then I also have this case right here that was also made by on this is a universal seven inch case that they say should fit most seven inch uh, tablets and this costs around twelve dollars and the reason why I got this as well as this is for my kids because they broke the tablet well one of them broke the tablet that they were using so I wanted to see how this budget tablet in 2023 would hold up now, just to go over some of the specs of this tablet, it is seven inches, like I said before, and it runs Android 11 Go. The resolution of the screen, it's non-HD, is 1024 by 600. It has a two gigahertz quad core processor, two gigs of RAM, 32 gigabytes of internal storage that you can expand with a micro SD card, up to 10 hours of battery life, has a two megapixel front facing camera and a two megapixel rear facing camera. And then it also comes with Google, uh, Google Kit Space, Entertainment Space, and Google Camera Go apps. And inside the box, I'll show you everything that comes inside the box, but to tell you, you get the tablet, you get the USB-C cable, that's pretty nice, that it charges with. Uh, it's a 3.2 uh, foot cable. You get the AC adapter and a quick start guide. This tablet comes in a variety of different colors for the back, but this is the standard one, which comes with the, comes with a black back. But if you go to Walmart's website, I'll leave a link in the description. You'll be able to see other colors as well. All right, so let me take this tape off and get a good look at this tablet. Well, I gotta say, you know, just from a packaging perspective, it's uh, it's pretty nice so far. So here is the tablet. It is a small tablet. You know, it's only seven inches. Just to roughly compare it to the size of my phone, the Google Pixel 6. And then this is the quick start guide help you along your way. This is the product guide. We are also getting, it's like promotional material for Walmart. It says shop smart and fast with Walmart pickup. And it's a code here that'll give you $10 off your first order. Uh, and the minimum amount you have to spend is $50. So a little coupon there. And then the last thing that you're going to get is the USB-C cable and the power adapter all right so that's nice to have ironically higher end devices these days tend to not come with the power adapter you spend hundreds of dollars on a device and they don't even throw one of these in the box so you know it's nice to see that the budget options are still giving you the adapter like they should here's a look at the tablet with the plastic off and here's a look at the back of it. The back of the tablet has a little bit of a textured finish to it. So it's not completely smooth plastic. I do like that because that helps with the grip. And then the front of the tablet has got some pretty decent sized bezels on the sides and from uh, the top and from the bottom. So that's basically just like the black border around the screen. That's not actually a part of the screen. So you do have some bezels there, but for the purposes of which I'm using this for is really is for the kids really um, they're not going to care they're not going to mind and then on the side here we got some volume buttons so volume up and volume down on the right side and then the power button is right below that nothing on the left side and then on the top headphone jack regular 3.5 millimeter headphones you can plug that into here and then here's the spot on the top for the micro SD card for your storage expansion. And then on the bottom of it, that's the USB-C port for charging. And then the speaker is on the bottom as well. All right, so we're gonna have to set this up, but let me see if it has any juice inside of it, any power. 
And while this boots up, I'm going to just uh, put it inside of this case just so we can see how well it fits inside of the case. All right, so there it is with the case on. Now, I suppose because this is an on-branded case and this is an on-tablet that's seven inches, it fits this one pretty darn good. Uh, you can still get the camera on the top. It's not covered. There's a space on the back for the camera and that's not covered. So that's pretty cool. And then you still have access to all the other ports like that. It's a little carrying handle right here, walk around with it. And then, like I said, on the back, you can just activate the stand, pop that open, put it down. So I'm gonna get this set up and then we'll see how good of a value we get for the amount that this tablet costs. So now that my kids are asleep, I'm able to show you a little bit more about this tablet as far as its features and its performance. So because of its price, I think that it could be a pretty attractive option as a tablet to buy for kids. And that's probably why they decided to include kid space with this. So if we look down on the screen here, you can see that this is what they call kid space. And this is just a curated experience that's separate from the normal Android user interface that's designed for kids. So the kids can set up their own avatar. Uh, this is Imberlin, my uh, oldest daughter. I made that for her. And here are just some of the things that Kidspace has to offer. You have your collection of apps here on the home page. You can also scroll by. And here's like a little joke here that says, what's brown and sticky? What's the answer to that? A stick. So you get a little bit of a joke there. Um, here's some educational things about airplanes that just, you know, just things like this that come up kind of randomly. So they can click on that. They can go to another page where you can play some games that are somewhat related to airplanes or watch some videos that are related to them. You can look at more videos to show you how you can make airplane related things. Go back to the home page. You have some things like things you might like, today's apps. Fun facts about cement mixers, uh, content that's been picked for you, a little something about chocolate, you know, so it's a very curated experience. And then the second tab is the play tab, which is just all about popular games. Um, so you'll see some apps that you already have on the tablet show up here, but then there's also a whole bunch of other apps there that kids will be able to uh, download if they, if they have permission to, and if they choose to. Different categories for animals, arts and crafts, cooking, fantasy, music, it's all right here. The next one is going to be for Google Play Books, which if you do have access to Google Play Books and if the parent allows access to Google Play Books, then you would see them right here. But here is currently blocked, kind of like how I had the uh, proper YouTube app was also blocked. And um, yeah, so that's why Google Play Books is blocked right now. And we can go over to the watch page, videos, lots and lots of videos. You got a video of the day. You can see more video apps is already installed on your device under the continued watching uh, portion right there. And then just like the games app or the game section, everything is just broken down. You have all, you can go to an animals category, arts and crafts, cooking, fantasy, and music, whole bunch of videos there. And then the last one is gonna be for make, arts and crafts, you know, things like that. So doing this, the kids don't have complete access to the internet as a whole. It's just this very uh, sort of uh, really highly curated, safe environment so they can get everything that they need right here and still have a pretty fun time with it. But if you aren't going to get this for a kid, or even if you if you do have a kid but you don't want to use kid space, you still have access to the proper the original Android user interface. So what you do here is just click and hold or press and hold this little uh, parent icon at the bottom right, and then you can choose to exit kid space. So let's do that now. So now that kid space is turned off, we're now back on the regular Android OS, one that you're probably already familiar with. You have all your apps here on the screen. If you have multiple screens with multiple apps, you can just swipe through it. And if you swipe left, that is going to be entertainment space. You have to sign in in order to access that, but it's basically, it's all your favorite entertainment in one place, so all your video apps and stuff like that, so that you don't have to go hunting around for them in different places, they'll all be right there. Swipe up, 
there's your app drawer. All the apps that you have downloaded, they're all right there. Swiping down from the top, you're going to have your notification shade and then also your menu options here. Here's just a few of them. And then you can access the proper settings, you know, just like any other Android device, like any other Android phone. Now, let's take a look at some performance. So let's go into Google Chrome. And you see right here, I am on the Android homepage. So I'm just going to refresh it and just kind of scroll around to just see how quickly the scroll is. And as you can see, it's pretty decent, pretty decently smooth, I would say. And then we can go over to a different page here. So let's just go to Android 13, see how quickly that's going to load up. And of course, how quickly it loads also depends on your internet connection. But once everything does load, you see I'm swiping through everything pretty quickly. Not bad, not slowing down, not a whole bunch of stutters. It's not the smoothest thing in the world. We're not expecting that, but it's not bad at all. You can zoom in and out just like this. You can see how smooth that's going to be. And to me, I think that's pretty, pretty darn responsive. Now, if you do set this up for a kid and then you still want to use just the regular um, Android interface, you can still set it up so that they need approval for any website that they might want to go to. So let's just say I want to go to apple.com. And it tells me here that you have to ask your parents. So it's currently set up so that if you want to go to any website on the internet need permission before they can go to that website and then you can whitelist certain other websites in order to uh, avoid having to always ask for permission. So that's just something that uh, I think is important to know. If you go over to this regular Android OS, even after you set it up for a kid, you can still carry over all of those different types of restrictions and stuff right here in this regular OS. So it doesn't automatically become the Wild West. Now, uh, let's take a look at some videos on the regular YouTube app. So let's take a look at those video quality options here. The quality is currently on 360p. So I'm just gonna go back to quality here, go to advanced, make sure that 1080p is selected. All right, so I'm just scrolling through regular parts of the video, parts that have not already preloaded. And yeah, everything seems to be pretty nice and quick here. All right, not bad at all. Let me switch it over, get a bit of some full screen going on, see how this looks in full screen. Now also keeping in mind that this is not a 1080p display. So even though I'm looking at this video in 1080p, this is not a 1080p display, so it's not gonna look as good as it would if you were looking at it on a 1080p display. But it definitely does not look bad. And as far as the viewing angles go, the viewing angles are pretty decent as well. And when I say viewing angles, I mean that once you look at the screen kind of off center, can you still see what's on the screen without it being obstructed by a lot of like weird colors and glares and things like that. So I can like look at it all the way tilted like this and I can still make out what's on the screen perfectly fine. So the viewing angles on this tablet, pretty darn good. And the performance is also pretty good. Let's take a look at this rear camera here. And it's, uh, it's, it's not that good. <laughs> you know, it's not that good. Let's just take a quick picture right here. So you can see what that looks like with the rear camera. And now let's take a selfie. All right, so since I got this soft box right above me, uh, I say that the lighting is pretty decent. So now you'll be able to see what the front and the rear camera looks like when you take a picture. Just don't expect any miracles out of it and you should be fine. And by the way, my kid pretty much dropped this tablet the second that I gave it to her on the very, very first day. And it passed the drop test. And I don't know how many other times they've dropped it since then, but it's still holding up fine. So 
kudos to this case. I do like this little carrying handle. Kids like the carrying handle. I like the little stand that you can use if you choose to use it. It's good that that is right there. But the most important thing is having this nice thick bumper around to protect it from all of the drops that are inevitable and they will happen. As far as games go, I've looked at my kids play some games on this and the games run fine. You know, they're not playing anything really extensive that requires a whole lot of strong graphical performance and the fastest processors and the most RAM and all that stuff. But for the little simple things that they're doing, the screen is responsive, everything looks good and they're happy with it, so I'm happy with it. And overall, I have to say that I am happy with this tablet. I think that you get some pretty decent performance for the money that you spend. It's only $50. So you're looking for something that is not gonna break the bank, but is still gonna get the job done, still be able to look at YouTube videos or any other type of videos with some decent quality, Performance when browsing the web is not bad either. It's not the smoothest experience in the world, but it's definitely not it's definitely not stuttering and stammering like it's Android from like 2010. You know, those days are gone. You can actually get something very serviceable in a very affordable package just like this. And if the unfortunate happens and something does happen to this tab, at least you can know that you're only out 50 bucks. So getting another one won't be the end of the world. So if you're looking for a tablet that you can give to a kid so that they can have something to do, something to keep them occupied, or even a little something for yourself to just kind of have to knock around and just have on you that's nice and small and can just get the job done when you need it, you should give this tablet a look. It's exclusive to Walmart, the on brand, and you can grab it for 50 bucks. Pretty decent deal. So thank you all so much for watching. You wanna see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe because I always have more coming. And until next time, take care of yourselves and I'll talk to you soon.